Hey guys, I am back with another video and today I'm just going to be doing kind of a get ready with me. I'm not actually going anywhere, but I have um, a new foundation that I wanted to try out and like a look that I wanted to do. So I figured let me hop on camera and do a video. I already did, let me take my glasses off because I already did my brows off camera like I normally do. If you guys want an updated brow tutorial, let me know. I can do that for you guys. I don't think it's changed that much, but if you guys want to see it, let me know and I'll record a separate video of that. Um, I did prime my face off camera as well because I like my primer to sit. So I did it while I was applying my, while I was doing my eyebrows and I used the Milk Hydro Grip um, Primer my go-to these days um and i did color correct a little bit around my mouth and under my eyes if you guys see like a little orange in that area i did color correct only because i do know that this foundation is listed as medium coverage and i'll get into the foundation later um but i am going to do my eyes first like i always do i always do my eyes first if you guys have been watching me for a very long time you guys know that i do my eyes first and then i do my skin um trying to talk through most of the video any kind of like dead space i may just speed through but i do plan on talking through this video because i have not done a talk through video in a very long time plus i'm trying out a new mic as well to see how it sounds um this way as well so now that all the disclaimers have been said before we hop into the video welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel i really appreciate it um i post when i can i don't have a set schedule or anything like that so i post when i can so if you are interested in hair makeup lifestyle any type of videos like that or you just want to see my face consider subscribing and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload um, because youtube has changed since when i first started so if your notifications aren't turned on unless you come looking for me you aren't going to know that i posted a video so hit that little bell turn the notifications on so you don't miss the upload and yeah let's hop into the video so today I'm going to be using the culture palette. This is actually the only palette that I pulled out. So hopefully I'm able to get a full look from here, which I usually pretty am good of like these big palettes of getting um, stuff from the palette. These are all the colors from Juvia's Place. I haven't used, um, I've used this palette maybe like once. I don't think I've used it on camera, um, but I do like it. Um, it is different from the Culture One palette. I know a lot of times things are redundant. Um, I don't mind things being redundant personally just because, you know, certain color schemes work for certain things and you want to have like a balance of shades. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I'm trying to see what vibe I want to go with if I want to go with like a green vibe. This palette has a lot of greens to me. Like there are a lot of greens, like all of these are greens. They're like kind of tealy green here. This color here is kind of greeny. Um, so I may go that route. Maybe like a green and gold kind of look. I don't know. But let's just start with the base first. I'm going to be applying my um, MAC. Um, I have some leftover from what I used to do my brows. So I'm just going to use that to kind of apply on my eyelid just to um, get rid of any discoloration. I'm just going to apply that and blend that out as best I can. Just to get rid of any of that darkness. So I don't know if you guys remember, I'm gonna talk a little bit, just, you know, of this and thing. I don't know if you guys remember back in, I don't, I don't remember the exact date. I'll post the video though. I had a LASIK done in my eyes and it's been at least 10 years, maybe 11. And usually around that time, it does say your eyesight starts going not reverting back, but you end up going back to a place where you at least need reading glasses or like a low level pair of glasses. If you guys haven't seen that, I have been wearing, I wore glasses at the beginning of my video. Um, so when I first got my contacts done or got my LASIK done, my prescription was like a negative, it was like in the negative eight, seven. It's like, it was like, I couldn't see nothing guys. Like, like I said, I, I went into detail more in that video, so I'll post it. It's a very old video, but it's relevant to what I had done. So now I do wear 
contact slash glasses. I do wear them every day. I'm thinking about going and getting it redone just for, you know, actually, not that I don't like wearing contacts or glasses, it's just that I find that contacts, they always smudge. No matter what, I can have like a little drip of lotion that accidentally gets to mine and then my contacts are smudged. And so the contacts that I wear now are dailies. So I'm just like wasting contacts. Like I literally will smudge this one, try to clean it, and then it will still be smudged two seconds later. So then I'll change it to a completely different pair of contacts. So I'm thinking about getting it done again. But in the meantime, I do wear glasses. I do wear contacts. I wear my glasses most of the time, especially at work and things like that. Um... I'm thinking about doing it again. So if you guys see me in glasses, contacts, um, especially now, I mean, you guys always saw me in contacts because I used to wear like my anime contacts a lot, but those were non-prescription. Um, but now they are prescription. So when you guys see me with them, they are actually prescription. I'm gonna go in with um, a kind of like pretty fluffy brush. This is from Morphe. This is the M441. I don't know if y'all still mess with Morphe or not, but I'm not throwing my brushes out. But I am gonna go in with this brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm not sure how to say it. Ya onde? But it's like this kind of rusty color. Wait, wrong way. This rusty color right here. I'm gonna go in with that just kind of like as my transition shade. I like to do this just to kind of like set up. Helps with blending. So yeah, so I'm considering doing that. Um, I haven't really talked to my husband about it because he's like, just wear glasses and go. Like, you know, um, he wears glasses as well. He doesn't know anything different. He actually just started wearing glasses within the time that we've met each other. So, or, yeah. So he actually didn't wear contacts and glasses or anything most of his life. He doesn't wear contacts. But for myself and my, what I like, I'm considering doing it. Definitely considering doing it again. Um, it was very pretty good the first time, so I don't really have any complaints, but I don't know. It's something to think about for sure. Um, I had a consultation and I didn't, oh, I scheduled the consultation. I never went to the appointment, which is pretty bad. Not bad. It's just, I wasn't ready to commit and I had like just had my brush reduction and all that kind of stuff. So I just, it was just already enough going on that I really just didn't want to commit to anything else. Um, I'm going to go and apply a little bit of something on my brow bone just to get that out of the way. I'm going to go in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finished, and this is the shade Dark Deepest. Um, it looks like that. I'm just going to use that to kind of apply under my brow bone just to like blend that out kind of just matches my skin it's nothing anything special I'm just gonna use it to blend out and then you know the funny thing is about like filming in this where I'm at now it's just a little different a lot of stuff I'm I feel like I'm almost reverting back to when I first started filming and I had like one setup one mirror that was using my hand mirror or to do closer things which I never used to do I used to have my like handheld mirror and that everything kind of got like I don't know progressively better I feel like I'm kind of reverting back not in a negative way but just like I feel like the style and the zone in which I'm filming now is way different than what I've done in the past or it's like going backwards essentially <laughs> I know it sounds bad but I don't mean it in a bad way I'm just saying it's not like my setup was pretty pristine pretty thing like my equipment is still obviously pristine a1 but the vibe of my feet um filming just feels different to me um and i think that's part of the reason why i'm not here that often because it just it just doesn't feel like as i don't know professional as i was doing it before and yeah i know you guys are like girl what but if you if you understand, like I had a whole setup, I had it was just literally like sit and sit and record. It was everything didn't I didn't have to set up anything. Everything was just ready to go. If I wanted to change my background for the season, like when I did Halloween, I had a background, a Halloween background all month. Um, those type of things, my light, my you know backdrop lights, my makeup brushes, my 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 set 
you know, was already, you know, I was able to have a set essentially is what it was. I was able to go from like makeup videos to hair to like regular talking videos without much effort. Um, and now a lot of it takes me a lot of effort now. So, it, and I can't leave stuff set up here. So there's that. So I think that's why my motivation, it's not off. It's just like, mm, I'd rather, you know, and then sorry I'm like chewing gum and that's so bad I guess to do on camera but it's like I want to take it out and have anywhere to put it okay, there we go um and so like the thought was to you know get into vlogging but then like I don't really be doing anything but going to work and I can't film at my job um it's not the vibe next I'm gonna go in I probably should have gotten I'm gonna go in with green. I'm gonna want this color. Mm, I don't wanna go too like teal. I think I'm gonna go in with kind of like a greeny vibe. I don't know. I'm gonna go with this shade right here called Fufu. It's like a very dark, like forest green. I'm gonna go in with that. And then I'm gonna think I'm gonna go in with the shade under it called Motherland, um, just to give my eyes some dimension kind of test out and see what actual direction I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna put the first shade, the darker green called Fufu, kind of like on the outer edge and just blend it out. So yeah, so that's been my vibe about feeling. I know I've said this in previous videos, like when I do updates and like kind of how I'm feeling about filming and all that kind of stuff. It's like, I got myself to a very motivated space. A lot of the those things that I had before, it motivated me. Like it was like, ugh, perfect. I don't have to put in a lot of effort to set up and film. It was like, boom, it's already ready. Just hit record. Those are the things that motivate me. Having things that are already like locked in place. I feel like the effort it takes me now is the same effort it's taking me when I started, you know, doing YouTube in my 20s. And it's like, I thought I had progressed from there. Um, and it's not a negative way because obviously there's been other changes in my life that's happened that's like, okay, it makes sense of why I'm in this direction and all of those things. But that don't, doesn't mean that I have to like be like, I don't know. I can't have my dislike for certain things. Um, and I did. I liked not, I don't know. I like not having to put that type of effort. I prefer to focus my effort on the creativity aspect of it. Even like doing my Halloween videos, like I loved doing those. I've loved being able to go from light to dark and it, you know, just the production of it is what I enjoyed and the ease of the production for me is what I enjoyed. And just having everything in one space where I did not have to set up. Um, that was really big for me and it was a lot of my transitions in life and where I moved to was based off of that so but whatever here we are um I'm gonna go in motherland I'm gonna go in like with a little bit of this because like what I'm thinking in my head is probably I'm just gonna go kind of right in front a little bit of that this green is really pigmented I haven't used a green eyeshadow in a very long time, especially not like a matte one like this in a very long time. I'm just kind of going in and blending it into that darker green. Nothing too crazy. Again, these little things, I'm using like this teeny tiny mirror, like, yeah, this is so tiny, but I don't have my handheld one. It's in storage. Like most of my life. <laughs> it's crazy. I see not most of my life. Most of my YouTube life is in storage. Literally. And on a hard drive somewhere. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I'm gonna go on with this concealer. This is the Juvia's Place Radiant Concealer. Or I don't know what it's called. I don't remember. But it's a Juvia's Place Concealer. I'm going to go in with this to kind of like cut my crease. Kind of. I know the girlies aren't into cut creases anymore. Everybody's into like this natural. Girl, I do that on a regular day. 
let's make this video a little bit more, you know? I'm gonna put a little bit kind of right there. Y'all know my little trick. I just look up and then blend down just so I can exactly see where I'm gonna be placing my main color and I'm kind of blend, I wanna blend this out. I don't want it to be like super harsh. So I'm kind of feathering it and kind of patting, taking my time. This is like, cut creases take time and I'm not really doing the actual cut, it's like a soft cut crease, it's not. I'm just gonna go in with that same brush that I used. It's not clean, it's the greens that I used. I'm kind of just feathering out that other color. I'm gonna do my other eye real quick. Yeah, so that has been life for me. Like, it's been pretty intense. Um, pretty, like, that's one thing. Like, you never realize how fast other areas. Like, I knew New York was, like, very fast-paced, high-paced, like, go, go, go all the time. But it's like, I'm living it now, and I realize, like, I don't like a very busy life. Like... I don't like like the high pace of it, the hustle and bustle of it. Like I don't like it. I don't even like it like for my kid. Like, like granted, like I had a conversation with my mother. Like, granted, it's nice, but like, and it can be done, and people do it all the time. But just because it can be done all the time doesn't mean I have to like it. Like I don't, I don't like the hustle and bustle of it at all. It's like, and I like a nice peaceful same old every day like that's me like consistency stability those are things that's important to me um New York is just so ugh, it's all over the place all the time like all over the place all the time it's crazy um I'm trying to think if I want to go gold or green gold or green I'm gonna go in with this color here I'm gonna go yeah I'm gonna do this color here beads it's kind of like a glittery kind of color right here it's called beads and then I'm gonna go in with this gold right here it's called kingdom I'm, I'm gonna kind of flow with that see how it looks a little bit see how we how it gets someone but I'm gonna go in with beads first and then I'm gonna use kingdom Ooh, beads is like really glittery so actually I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my this is the NYX glitter primer I'm gonna go in that first so when I picked it up on my brush, it was giving very see-through. So I'm gonna go in with my, matter of fact, I probably should do Kingdom first. Let me go in with Kingdom first. I don't wanna do that, no. Let me, let me do, go with my first ink stain. It's my new, my new thing. I'm gonna apply that kind of like right next to that green give a nice little stickiest base for that green that I'm going to use. I'm going to bring it all the way in actually. Bring it all the way in. Because this green is quite, it's giving very glitter. So now I'm going to go in with that color and see if that, yeah, that's better. Probably using my finger would be 10 times better, but let's see. Let me go on my finger. Take a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, get to pick. A the thing about it is like when using like these shades, it's like your finger just picks up a little bit more than the brush, especially when you're using like a natural brush or a fluffy brush or something like that. Your finger just gets you way more pigment. So. That's what I'm going with. Perfect. Don't worry, I'm gonna get to that little kind of empty space that I love. I'm just gonna go on my finger. I'm gonna use my brush to get in like in that kind of open space. It's a very pretty color though. I'm being very careful when I'm placing it because I don't want it to get into like that upper, like that upper part. I want it to get just right up in, right there, no further than that. And I'm just taking a little bit on the tip of the brush just to get into that little, little space that my finger cannot reach. All right, 
Now I'm gonna go in with that yellow kingdom color that I showed you guys earlier. And applying that on the inner half. Hopefully this is another one I need to use my finger. I don't want to use my finger. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. It's kind of like a greeny gold. Let's put that on your inner and just kind of blending it and then just flipping my brush to where I'm using it. This is the same brush that I was using to apply the green. I'm just kind of flipping it back and forth to kind of blend it into each other. So that it looks nice and blended and not like splotchy. thing about blending is just taking time you know like even like when I was talking about like my setup I know you guys are about sticking me talking about my setup but listen this is a really big deal for me at one point in my life um just even today like for me to set up it took me like 40 minutes just getting the camera right what lens I wanted to use finding my tablet Connecting the tablet, Connect, like, ew, just crazy. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go in like that. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna kind of chit chat through this video, like, nothing major, nothing deep. Kind of like that, I like how the gold kind of blends in. Now, I'm gonna go back in with a kind of slightly smaller version of that brush that I was using and I'm just going to go back in with that shade Fufu which is that dark green and just kind of like apply a little bit more so it's a little bit deeper and it also helps me blend into that glittery shade we put I have a feeling this is going to look very Christmassy because I already know what lip color I wanted to wear and I feel like this is going to give Christmas how did I think about it? But that's okay. Whatever. All right. So that's the eye. I'm gonna clean up my brush a little bit, that same brush, and then just kind of like go around the edge with that shade that we used first, the, the kind of rusty color, and just kind of go around the edges a little bit. Very softly, like my hand is super light. Like I'm, I feel like I can drop the brush if I really wanted to. I'm gonna go in with some liner. I'm just kind of doing this to get out the way. I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bakery Lollipop Liner. This is like my favorite liner right now. The NYX one, you guys know that used to be my favorite. They don't have it anymore. I'm gonna do this eye first because it's the most difficult. So, in the midst of all of this, I've actually picked up a new hobby. I guess it's a hobby. I started doing my own nails. Um, my husband gave me the idea. I wasn't like, I was getting my nails done when I moved to New York. It was hard for me to find a nail place. And a lot of them didn't, well, a lot of them within my area did not do they all did acrylics which i wasn't really into acrylics but i have found a place that they did acrylics and i just kind of you know the designs and everything were up to par with what i was used to so i was going to this particular place and you know i get my nails in every two weeks normally um my husband was like how can you never do your own nails like it seemed like something that you would like to do and you know makeup nails all those kind of things whatever i'm surprised you never got into it so I mean, I was spending a lot of money on my nails, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, every two weeks, it was maybe 120. Every two weeks, so I was spending like, I mean, I don't know what's a lot, but I was spending money on my nails. Um, which I didn't mind, it is what it is. And I was like, you know, maybe I'll try. So I bought a bunch of stuff to do my nails. Started doing my nails, I went with the Apri um, Gel X type of thing, because I wanted gel. Okay, so 
And he was like, you know, how come you never you did your own nails? It seems like something you would be into. I'm like, eh, I don't know. It's very time consuming, but you know, whatever. So I bought a bunch of stuff. I bought like the whole A Apri system, Gel X system, bought me a light, bought, bought everything. Okay. I, I brought in, like, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to buy the, I'm going to buy everything. I'm not going to like try to skimp out or find everything. There were some things I kind of was skimpy on that I ended up returning, um, like polishes and stuff like that. I had to find like the right polish that I like. I kind of stayed a lot of my stuff is from a pre except for like little stuff. Um, so I got that. I started doing my own nails. First set was pretty decent. You know, not bad. The second one, I tried out a different nail tip than the Apri ones to see how I liked it. It was okay, um, but I ended up liking the Apri nail tips, gel tips better. So I'm just gonna stick with those. Um, I kind of got different, like I, I did this set here. It's it's decent. Um, my last set was like a little bit long. I used some gel tips from Amazon. Um, they were cool, but I just, I just, I don't want to do a lot of filing. I don't want to do a lot of shaping. Like I want the nails to kind of already come, come already pre. Like I don't really want to do all of that. So um, I can order the different lengths and the apri nails, and then the, the actual like sh sides of the nails fit my nails better. Um, just those things. So it was just, I was like, let me just go that route. Um, so that's what I did. I'm gonna go on with this concealer again, the Juvia's Place Concealer. I kind of like to do my highlight and contouring um, underneath my makeup. I've been doing that for a while. So that's what I'm gonna do. I like contouring and highlighting underneath. I don't like, I don't know. I don't like doing it over top anymore. Next, I'm gonna go on with this. Um, this is the color Rain Skin Stick, the multi-use foundation stick. This shade is the uh, shade 600 and I'm gonna use this shade to contour. I have not used this before, but I ordered a bunch of them. Um, so, mm. little chub dub. Um, so I'm gonna use that. Anyway, so, so yeah, so I started doing my own nails. I think I'm gonna continue and do them. I like, it's kind of like very therapeutic. It does take me a very long time. It takes me a few hours, but usually I try to like soak off my previous set like a couple days before and then do a new set. That's why I'm not doing everything on one day. But um, I've been liking doing my own, my own thing. I'm just gonna blend this out. I should spray this actually. I'm gonna spray this, my brush before I start blending out with my, um, Charlotte Tilbury, I think it's Charlotte, yeah, Charlotte Tilbury airbrush spray. It's one of, this is like my favorite setting spray. Um, like, oh, like finishing, I, it's like my finished spray. It's the last spray that I use, but I'm gonna use this to help blend. And I'm gonna blend out my contour first. Very softly. Cause I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender to do the rest, but this, this foundation stick is actually very, very soft and creamy. So it blends out pretty, pretty well without me having to like press down too hard. Um, so yeah, so I've been doing my own nails. Whole A pre system. This is what I'm going to go to. If you guys want to see a video of me doing my nails at some point, once I get better, I'll probably do it. But right now I'm kind of like in that practice kind of stage, like really just trying to see what works for me, how intricate I can get. Polishing my right hand is a task and a half, but I try my best and I've been getting a lot better. Um, I did decide to stick with the Apri gel colors, like the nail polishes, mainly because one, they are, yes, they're very pigmented. Two, I like their brush. They have this thing called Brush X. I just like how small it is, how there's not like a lot of excess product on the brush. So I'm just gonna stick with their gel colors for me personally. I had ordered like a bunch of different ones like off of Amazon, like Model Ones and Beetles and all these kind of stuff. And I'm like, you know what? For somebody like me who's like very beginner, I don't want something that's gonna be in excess. So I like their nail polish brush. Um, even like with their gel X, their top coats, all of that stuff, it has the same kind of brush. So I'm just going to stick that route and just make my life easier instead of trying 
bunch of different things. Um, so yeah, that's something else that I've been getting into. And my husband's like, oh, I'm surprised you like never got into like doing nails. And this is something that me and my husband like differ on when it comes to like certain things. And like, there are things that I enjoy doing, but it doesn't mean I enjoy doing them for other people. Right? Like I like, I like doing makeup, right? And granted, I am a makeup artist. I've done this, but as I got into it, I actually don't like doing makeup for other people that often, um, like on a regular basis, um, especially like in a wedding setting or an event type of setting. If it's just like one person going out or one person, a birthday makeup, something, I don't mind that. But when it's like a whole like party, I don't actually like doing makeup in those settings, um, like in wedding settings and things like that. Um, personally, like even photography, like I love taking pictures. I do. I really do love taking pictures. Um, I don't actually enjoy doing it for other people. Like some, like, you know what I'm saying? There's like a level of like, my job is a service job. My, you know, I do a lot of my own personal things. Like I do my own waxes. I do my own hair. I do my own now my nails. I do my own everything. I don't want my life to be in service of other people all the time. Um, so I do like taking pictures again in non-group settings, right? Like I'm very introverted. I don't like being around a lot of people. It's not my, not, yeah. I just don't like being around a lot of people. It's like an in, like an intimate setting, like a boudoir, like a one-on-one -on -one portraits, you know, those types of things. Okay, fine. But I don't like doing events. I don't like doing weddings. I don't like doing big parties where I have to be around a lot of people and try to navigate a lot of people personally. Right. So like there are things that I like doing. I just don't like doing them for everybody. Like I like taking pictures. Yes, but I rather take pictures of like food and houses and scenery and, you know, realtor kind of pictures like that type of thing. Like my husband is very like wedding, 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 wedding. And I'm totally opposite of that. So you know, I guess it's nice that we have different styles. We can kind of go into different markets with the whole business. But for me, like, I just don't like being around a lot of people um, in a setting. Like, even like with family, like, even like when I hang out with my friends, like there's this, <laughs> a group setting up and like, I know exactly how many friends are hanging out. You know, like I don't like being in large groups of people. Like, I just, I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. I don't like navigating through a lot of people, which is, I guess it's part of the reason why I don't love living in New York because you kind of always have to be around a lot of people when you're on a train. Um, next, I'm going to go into with this foundation. I'm going to pause on that. I'm going to be trying this foundation here. Everybody has been talking about it. It's the About Face Foundation. Um, the shade that I picked up is a D1 Neutral. I like the packaging. Like, it's very plasticky. Like, you can see through it. I do like that. I, I don't care about the outside packaging and I like the the bottle of it it's very sleek and smooth it has like a doe foot applicator pretty big one too and I think I I think I picked a good shade too but this is d1 neutral this is called the performer foundation and it says it says medium coverage delivers long wear second skin finish I'm curious I'm just I was just curious because everybody was talking about it so I'm gonna go on with this next see how we do I'm just trying to make sure everything is blended out before I get deep into this because this is kind of the star of the show um so yeah uh, it says neutral I'm looking a little orange orange but I might be able to make it work. I'm just gonna use that much for now. It's not a bad color. It's not bad. We gonna see. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use a brush for right now just cause I feel like brush gives me a little bit more coverage and I'm gonna actually use, I don't know why I'm going back and forth, but I'm gonna use this setting spray. This is the Juvia's Place, their new setting spray. I'm just gonna use this to blend it out. Um, Really, because I like to use my Charlotte Tilbury at the end end, but um, I'm going to spin this out. Ooh, the color's actually not bad. Get my little mirror, get a little close up. Ooh, the 
color is not that bad, actually. The coverage is not, it's like medium. It's not like full coverage, definitely like medium coverage. I probably could build it up, but I'm not going to. Cause I kind of like medium coverage. I like medium to full coverage, but like I said, I'm not going anywhere, so it's not. Oh, it blends out very nicely. Hmm. I haven't tried a new foundation in a long time, so like. Sorry if I'm like the oohs and eyes are just like, oh, this color's actually pretty freaking good. I like the finish. Hmm. Kind of like this, but yeah, I'm kind of getting the hype a little bit. Um. So yeah, so like I'm one of those people like I don't like doing a lot of service things for other people like in that type of way in that type of setting. Um, especially like in big groups. So, so it's like, oh, it's probably you don't do this. I'm not gonna do that. Like, yeah, I enjoy those things. That doesn't mean I enjoy doing them for people. Um, like I said, I like taking pictures, but again, I'm more of a portrait, one on one. I'm not really like an event type of photographer like I know that's like the the money maker so to speak like wedding <laughs> sweet 16s those type of things like I get it like those are like the big bucks but I don't want to spend my life doing things just for the money of it and then I'm not enjoying it like I already work a regular job like I already work a job <laughs> like I don't want everything to be just for money 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 like I work a job I don't want every all my I don't want my free time to also be built around you know what I mean like I don't know if you get it you get it like yeah I'm just gonna make sure I'm blending out my concealer before I set it I like this little thing from um real techniques they came out with kind of like a beauty puff I kind of wish it was like a pocket like the the beauty blender one but this one you can actually use for foundation, but I didn't use it for foundation today, but you can. Um, but I do like their little, like this is very, very soft. Definitely reminiscent of the Beauty Blender one, but I do wish it was like a pocket just because when you flip it, if you're using it, your fingers are gonna get dirty anyway. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna take my Fenty Honey um, setting powder just to set my highlight. I I'm going a lot. Of, I know a lot of people do their press first, which I planned on it, and then I had already picked this up. So this one I'm gonna go with first. I don't usually do this first. I usually do my pressed and then this, but I kind of go back and forth, so it's okay. I'm going set my under eye, not too much, but I do want this look to be pretty matte. As always so yeah so that's like a little a little thing about me about I enjoy a lot of things but that doesn't mean I enjoy doing them for people you know like if I'm gonna service something I'd rather be like in a like a charity way like a you know food kitchen or you know that kind of thing donating and that kind of stuff I might, I mind that but like being around big groups of people for extended periods of time is actually exhausting. Um, and that's another thing, like when I used to work in a call center, like people didn't understand like how people in call centers are so tired when they get off of work or exhausted, but like dealing with people's emotions all day is actually very exhausting and like draining. Like people think just cause you sit down on the phone all day and you're like just talking to people like that stuff is actually quite exhausting. Like it's really exhausting to be dealing with people's emotions all day long. Um, it's emotionally draining, which then in turn makes it physically draining. Like it is actually draining. Next I'm going to go in with this colored rain naughty spice bronzer. I do love these bronzers. I've been like, monopolizing using my Juvia's, Juvia's Place bronzers. And I'm like, girl, bring out your your stuff. I love these bronzers. They're super smooth and matte. It's like the perfect shade. Um, I usually go between this one and the other one is Cinebabe, but I'm gonna be using Naughty Spice because I haven't, 
I haven't used it in a while. I kind of want to, you know, not always use the same things. Plus, I think they'll go better with this foundation that I used. So now to dust away underneath my eye, I'm going to do that really, really quickly. I'm going to use the dark deepest again that I used to highlight my brow or set my brow bone. Um, I'm going to use that, take a little bit on my a brush and just kind of dust it away with that. Just to kind of balance it out a little bit. Oh, I didn't bring any blush out. Oh, I meant to use the highlighter. That's right. I got to use it over top before I like set, set my face. I meant to use um, the Juvia's Place um, liquid illuminator underneath, but I didn't. So I'm going to use it now before I set my entire face. I'm going to go in. This color is Golden Hour. A lot, of, a lot comes out. I'm going to take it like a little bit. You know, Juvia's Place B thing. So I'm going to just do like two dots. You never know what Juvia's Place is. It will light up your whole face. And I'm not like a loomy loomy girl. So. With that, I'm gonna go in with like a little highlighter brush. This is the Morphe M501, and I'm just gonna it's so pretty already. And I haven't even oh, so pretty, so pretty. I wish I would have done this underneath, it would have been so pretty underneath. Hopefully, you guys can see it, but it's very pretty, very, very pretty. I definitely wish I would have did this underneath, but that's okay. I'm gonna blend it out as much as I can. But I like it. I don't usually like illuminators because I don't like like glowy skin. But I've been trying to, you know, try new things. Get my try new things. I love that. Oh, so pretty. So so pretty. Yeah, I like it. All right, so that's that. Very pretty. I feel like I have more on this side than the other side, but that's okay. It's okay. Don't, don't want to apply any more. Like, Juvia's Place will get you. And next thing you know, you have too much on. Um, Let me blend out that underneath my eyes. I need to get a blush because I don't have any blush. But before I do that, I guess I will continue underneath my eyes. I'm going to go in with my... Um, first, I'm going to go on with this um, liner. This is the Be Active Eye Stylo. I like to use this first. I don't know. It's like pretty dark. Um, let me use that first. Okay, like using that. And then I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Perversion Gel Liner. This is my favorite liner um, to date. Um, I just haven't found anything better or darker. If you guys have any recommendations, um, let me know. Anything better, darker, and that's waterproof. So. I actually need a new one, but I'm going to use this until it's gone, honey. Gone. I'm going to use it till it's down there. Okay, I'm back to time to be wasting. Um, now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of color underneath. I'm going to take like a very small like smudger brush like this. And I'm going to go in that shade Foo Foo. I'm going to apply that first right up to that right up to the lash line like just very very tight 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 I don't want it to come down I just want it to kind of be right up underneath And I like doing this because it also helps clean up that liner sometimes when you get it like a little bit on your skin 
or on that skin right underneath you can kind of use it to like smudge that out so it's like very straight and smooth one thing i would say about like juvia's place it just <laughs> this is why like i always have like a sweet spot for juvia's place it's just they always have everything right where you need it oh this color was pretty i should have used that oh my gosh do you see this color up here like looking at it oh so pretty i should have used that can i put it anywhere no no just for next time anyway so i went in with fufu did underneath my lash line now i'm just going to go in with a kind of like fluffy brush that's like kind of like almost like a pencil brush but not too pencil-y but like a fluffy pencil brush i guess and i'm going to go in with that first shade the transition shade and i'm just going to apply that right underneath the green i kind of like to brush it i like doing this as well just i don't know i feel like when you do this it ties the whole look together Looking good, looking good. You guys know I'm not putting any lashes on, not in the mood. But I'm gonna curl my lashes. I like this lash curler from e.l.f. I like like the way you can hold it instead of like the other one where it like kind of goes like this. Um, I like I like the shape of it. So I'm gonna go and curl my lashes. I have not curled my lashes. I used to do this all the time when I first started doing my makeup, and then I don't know what happened. And then something was like, Renelle, get back into curling your lashes. So that's what I'm doing. I remember I used to always like grip my freaking eyelid. I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but do that. Sorry, super. Lashes. I'm gonna go with my mascara. I'm just gonna use one today. Not on purpose, but it's the only one I got out here. <laughs> now, you know you always use two mascaras, but that's okay. I'm going to go in with my Femti, Fem, Femti, Fenty Beauty Hella Thick. I love this mascara. It's, it's really good, actually. For me, you know, I got to specify that these days. So like there are lashes that elongate which is why I end up using two a lot of times but this one I just oh, I just love the consistency of it I love the brush I love how black it is I don't know if I'll ever get out of like the black eyeliner like I remember at one point I used to like try like buy browns and blues and it's just Something about the black just always does it for me every single time. So I just never, I stopped buying stuff like that. Like, cause I didn't wear it. I didn't wear it. I would try it and then I'd be like, no, where's my black eyeliner? No, where's my black mascara? The only one, there was one that I loved that was blue. It was, I don't know if you guys remember where CK1 had a brand. It was in Ulta um, and they had like a blue and purple mascara those were like bomb to me and I haven't worn I remember when I worked at Ulta we used to have a rep that came she worked for CK and she put me onto it and I was like oh I love it and I have not worn it since since I left Ulta like once they stopped selling it I stopped wearing it I mean I could one I couldn't buy it anymore and two I just never nothing ever popped like those before and again so I just never I stopped buying them so um, the blush I'm going to use, this is from the Saharan Volume 1 Blush Palette. I'm going to go in with Neo. This is like my go-to shade. I mean, I'll, honestly, all three of these shades are like my go-to shades. Abby is a little bit too dark for me, but Neo is like my favorite kind of like red kind of blush. Um, dark. I'm going to go in with this first before I set my entire face. I know some people do this last, which I have done it last, but I'm gonna go and do this first. Oh, so pretty. The highlight is sending me. Look at that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. 
so next I'm going to set the rest of my face this little water reminder on my phone hydration reminder and girls like you have not drunk anything today girl what are you doing and I just keep looking at it like I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna drink I'm gonna drink I ain't drink yet I'm gonna do my lips in a minute I'm actually gonna do my lips last after I change my outfit and put my contacts in um but let me set my face I'm gonna go in with that shame shade deepest dark deepest from MAC. I'm going to use this to set my entire face. I actually hate this brush by Morphe. It's the M527. I need to find the synthetic version of this because I actually hate this brush. It is so like prickly. Like I don't know. It's very sharp. I don't like it. But it's in, it was in the set that I bought. But I actually hate this brush. Um, if I can find the synthetic version of this, I would love. I prefer to set my face with synthetic brushes. They just feel nicer when I'm going over my whole face. Like this feels so prickly to me. Like I feel like it's stabbing me. Like acupuncture or something like on my face. Don't like it. I'm actually, I actually should do that once I'm done with this. Try to find the synthetic version. Like the Real Techniques Prada brush. Love that to set my face. It's just so soft. Out of all the brushes from like I have of uh, even like the the smaller like the brushes with the same material it doesn't feel like this like whatever this is or however it's packed together I don't I don't like it but neither here nor there now I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go in first with this Juvia's Place ready set sealed I'm gonna go in with this first to set my face I I like this one I like how it comes out the smell is like not too strong I'm gonna let that one like dry into my skin I'm not gonna like press it in let that dry and then next I'm gonna go on with the Charlotte Tilbury flawless setting okay now that I've gotten my hair out looking like some time for me to apply my lipstick so I picked up the lipstick from about face as well um, it is their lip it matte lip color or paint sorry paint it matte lip color um, from about face as well same packaging um, and this shade is called fireside had to get the red first I try that out first that's like that's my design. In fact, when it comes to a lot of these brands, is they're red. Um, I'm gonna go in with the shade Wine from Juvia's Place and line my lips. Mm, actually, no. I'm gonna go in with the Espresso. Um, is this Espresso? Yeah. I'm gonna go in with the Espresso from Juvia's Place. Line my lips. I feel like there's a lighter shade that I used in this. I thought it was Espresso, but it's a little dark. But we're gonna make it do what it do. Oh, I think it's cola. It's a little bit darker than I want it, but whatevs. And then I'm gonna go on with wine. I'm gonna fill in the inside of my lips. I always do this just in case like the shade starts to fade. There's some sort of base underneath, like if I'm eating or something. Not that I'm actually going anywhere though, but Mm, 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 mm. What is this I'm doing? I'm just gonna go with a little, little tiny brush. Just kind of clean that up before I apply the lip color. I did a little bit more straight. That's one thing I like about the Juvia's Place like lip liners. They are super creamy, so I can kind of like and kind of move it around. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this shade. I like the packaging. The packaging has like a kind of like a velvety soft top. It's not like shiny like the foundation. I'm gonna go in with that. The brush is like kind of pointed at the tip, so I like that. 
and small because I have small lips. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my god, look at that color. Ooh. This red. brush kind of just clean that up I don't like to bring the the doe foot applicator too deep because then it ends up like getting area everywhere so I just like to take like a little I wish I had a lip brush in here just kind of blend that out it dries quick low like this thing dries so quick so 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 quick but Superman, I like that. I love my hair. One thing your girl knows how to do is a wash and go. <laughs> One thing your girl is gonna succeed at is a wash and go. So this is the final look. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed my little chit chat and little rambling a little bit. I haven't done it in a while, but I hope you guys enjoyed like listening to me talk. Um, these contacts, um, I did do a video on if it's not already posted. Um, if you guys are interested, I will have it linked somewhere down in the description box or in the video for you guys to check out. But, um, yeah, my hair is Camille Rose Naturals. <laughs> Um, all the products that I use in this video, I will leave down in the description box for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, as you can see, I got a little tank top. Well, I'm ready for the summer, guys. I need the summer to hurry up and come along. <sighs> Please hurry up and come along, summer. Like, winter is putting up a fight. Like, spring, I need you to fight back. Summer, I need you to fight even harder, okay? But, um, you know... I just have this little thing on. I'm not, like I said, I'm not leaving the house, so I'm probably about to take this off right now. But I wanted to come through and film a little video with you guys, talk to you guys, catch up with you guys, you know, try some new products, try some new things, um, some things I haven't used in a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please thumbs it up. Comment down below of some other videos that you guys want to see. Um, I will do an update on my brush reduction. I promise I have not given an update. It hasn't been a year yet though, but I need to do an update. I have not given an update any like anything about it besides the fact that I got it done, but I will do one. I promise. Leave your questions um, down below. I have some questions already um, from my TikTok, so I will have, um, I'm trying to consolidate all of them um, and just make one video. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Guys, I almost forgot to put on my, um, my inner tear duct highlighter. This one is the Royalty 2 by Juvia's Place. I'm going to be going in with that to put in my inner tear duct. Like, girl, what are you doing? Doing the most. All right. I'm just going to put a little bit. I'm going to use that same same kind of brush that I used earlier and just pop it in right there yeah girl what are you doing I always I don't know how I forgot that this is like my favorite thing to do and I forget and I did I like to kind of dab it on I could use like a little glue to make it a little brighter like the the NYX glitter glue but this is fine I'm just gonna dab it on just like that so I'm going to put a little bit on my nose, like right up here. A little bit on the tip. Okay, perfect. All right, better. All right, now I'm leaving. Okay, bye guys.